Hey, this is Sycroth. I know a lot of people have trouble doing uh, male mouths, especially trying to make them not look too feminine. And I'm going to try and help you with, um, with that. Now, you want to not do outlines like this. That's the wrong thing to do. Um, in anime mounts, they tend to do mounts like this. They kind of darken the corners, and then they add a little indication for the bottom lip. What I'm going to do is kind of a variation on that, where I just lightly shade in the upper lip, and um, I'm going to show how to go about painting it. Um, here what I'm doing is I'm indicating the contour lines of uh, the, the face, and I want to show how the mouth is on a rounded surface. And if you use your hand, you feel over, over your mouth, you'll see just how big that curve is. So then when I draw in the mouth, I try and follow that curve. Um, again, here's what not to do. You don't want to outline. You don't want to shade in everything equally, the top and the bottom lip, because it will look like the person's wearing lipstick. So instead, I just lightly shade in the upper lip. I don't give it an outline at all. Um, and now I'm going to show how I go about painting. Uh, the first thing you want to find whenever you paint is where's the light coming from. So here it's the upper uh, left. I'm painting this in grayscale so I can really focus on the values. When it comes to painting, values are everything. They're the most important thing, and color really doesn't matter. What I want to uh, get across is that when you're painting um, lips or anything, it's more important that you get the values right and the edges right than the color. Um, probably the biggest mistake is people will tend to just jump into color, and with lips they'll go for reds because that's what they think. Well, lips are red or pink or something. And really, um, I don't think that's the best way to go about it, I think. Um, get the values down right, and then really focus on the edges. So here what I'm doing is I'm softening the edges a lot. Um, even the crease where the two lips meet, it's not a dark line. Uh, sometimes it might look that way in, in things like photographs, but really there are no dark lines in the lips. And I find the softer you keep them, the more real they look. So I'm really thinking about the planes of the face and how the light is going to hit those planes. I'm thinking what planes are facing the light, what's turning away from the light. For instance, the upper lip is turning away from the light, and that's why it is darker in value. I'm thinking of it as if it was all part of the skin. I'm not thinking of, okay, this is a skin and that's a lips. I'm thinking, no, it's all one thing and this is just darker because it's facing away from the light. When I'm satisfied with the values that are down, um, I'm going to convert the grayscale image to an RGB image. And then I will hit Control U to bring up the hue and saturation. I'll hit Colorize. Now find the skin tone uh, color, just a general skin tone color. And then I create a new layer and uh, set the mode to color. And now what I'm doing is I'm just slightly adjusting the color I originally had, and I'm pushing it a bit to green or a bit to blue or a bit to red. And then I'll just put down these broad color strokes to define what would be more red. Um, any part with hair is going to take on a blue or a green uh, color note. Um, the ears, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, that's all going to get a bit red. The forehead or the bony parts are probably going to get a bit yellow. But all these color changes are very subtle, and that's what gives the realistic look. You don't want to go crazy with your colors. Um, the lips look red. Uh, but really, the color that's down there isn't red. It's just more red than the skin tone. And the parts that are green or blue 
they're not really green or blue. They're all very gray or brown, but they just look that way in relation to the skin tone. Um, I'm just throwing in a background here and pretty much this is done. So I hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.